grandfather, Al Scheid, started the winery in 1972, or started the vineyard operation. Oh, that's cool. So it's a very much a family business then. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yes, I have been here for 30 years. <laughs> Well, you guys have been doing so much with your sustainability efforts. And I know that you've been doing some YouTubing about it and about the the wind turbine. And when and how did you begin your sustainability planning? 1972. <laughs> um, <laughs> Very forward thinking. It's, the company started in 1972 and sustainability was not really a word back then that wasn't really how people were talking but because grapevines are permanent crops there was certainly always that type of focus on you know how do we get the most out of you know out of the earth and out of the soil and how do we kind of perpetuate this and and make sure that we have um, vineyards that are really built to last um, in terms of quality and production and, and really kind of what sustainability is all about, profitability, all of it has to fit together. And also, you know, we look at sustainability, not just as the environment, but also how we treat our employees and how we treat our community. And so these are values that my father, Al Scheid, had in place in 1972 when we started. In terms of actually starting to really earn the certifications, that started really taking place like around, uh, you know, probably 10, 12 years ago, where we really started looking at, okay, well now there are actually vineyard certification programs. So we're, all of our estate vineyard acres are certified under CSWA, the California Sustainable Wine Growing Alliance. They're all certified under SIP certified, the, the Central Coast focused one. Um, they're Global Gap certified. Uh, the wind turbine went in in July of 2017. So that was a pretty big, landmark for us um to you know kind of years in the planning to get that um to get that ready to go we built our winery in 2005 and there are many sustainability measures that are intrinsic in the design of that winery from skylights to provide natural lighting and um a, a program to recycle 100 percent of the skins seeds and pumice um so that we create a high quality compost that's spread out into the, out into the vineyards and recycling 100% of our winery wastewater. It's really no certification for that, but that's those are things that we do in the winery that were designed in 2005. So when you say when does sustainability begin, it really began at the very beginning because I very much believe that sustainability is a mindset and it's not, the certifications are, are nice. That's kind of proof. That's something that you can show the outside world, but if you just stop there, then you're not really thinking with sustainability at the forefront. Sustainability to us is about continuous improvement. And so it's about every every year, you know, every every day, really just kind of looking at our operations and just continuing to push the ball forward. Very cool. So go, going back to the wind turbine, then why why did you decide to do that instead of like a whole solar farm over your parking structure? What what? Because again, it's very unique. So I we really think that's cool. Well, probably the first and foremost reason is because it's very windy where we are. So <laughs> only windy <laughs> wind power. Um, the Venus Valley, very dependable wind. Um, you know, solar in our area has very distinct limitations. Um, number one, we get like a lot of fog and a lot of cloud cover. Solar only works when it's sunny out and solar only works during daylight hours, you know, when when the sun is available to the panels. So um, so that was kind of issue number one. Issue number two, because we do get a lot of fog and we're kind of in a moist growing environment, solar panels get wet. Then we get wind that blows the dirt across the panels we would be cleaning those things all the time. It's sort of like the antithesis of sustainability. We would have to employ a lot of labor to be cleaning off the panels to make them efficient and functional. And number three, panels, solar panels take up a lot of space. Um, our wind turbine has a very small footprint. It can run anytime there's wind. So sometimes it's windy at night, so it can you know technically run 24 seven. Um, we can plant vines right up to the base. Um, it's, Real, and because we're very windy, um, it's just the most efficient way of, of corralling that resource and converting it into renewable energy. 
So as the wind turbine is in motion, um, is it storing the electricity as well? It's putting, yes, it, the electricity goes onto the grid and then we use it. So of course, you know, it might not be windy at 8 a.m. in the morning, but we have the lights on, you know, in our offices, say. So in that case, we're pulling energy off the grid. And when the wind turbine is generating wind, which is sometimes at 10 p.m. at night, it's putting it onto the grid. It actually supplies 200% of the energy that we need for our entire winery campus. And then you have your LCFS program. That's, you know, it's a nice incentive that you could put towards more sustainability projects in the future. Absolutely. I mean, we are um, trialing different types of electric equipment um, in, in the vineyard, for instance. And I'm sure it's just a matter of time before you know, we're able to bring those on. I mean, you know, there's some limitations and there's the cost associated with all that, but I mean, I, I can't even imagine where we're going to be five years from now, you know, let alone a year from now. I just think that that's, you know, kind of the direction that we're moving. The program is expanding so much and they're including new pieces of equipment all the time. Ag is a huge, you know, uh, part of that. Mm -hmm. So anything that they're developing in the tractor trailer space that could displace a uh, fossil fuel powered pieces of equipment could qualify. I appreciate that. I'm, I'm really glad that this is all kind of surfaced um, because I think there's definitely more we can do in the future.